What's up, everybody? My name is Chaos Duncan. Welcome back to Resident Evil 7. Let's go! Okay. So we've had a little bit of a hiatus. Had a little time off. We just got into this room, and I forgot what we're doing. Um, we need to find the fuse. Oh, no, we were already in this room a while ago. Okay, so... What I think we need to do is go back down, maybe. Well, now that I'm armed, I should be able to deal with some of the molded things down there. So, like... Even if I just knife them really good, like... I don't think there's much more that I need from the fourth... Whoa! Settle down! It's 50 seconds in! I just started! Good lord. If you start glitching straight away, I'll be very cross. Have I been to this floor yet? I've been here before, obviously. I've been here, like, during the flashback. And everything, but I don't remember if I've been here. Okay, this is definitely confirming I've been here. Um. Oh, I hadn't noticed some handgun ammo. I don't have a handgun, actually. I've only just noticed that, like... I don't have a handgun yet. Like, it's all well and good. They're like, oh, you found handgun ammo. That will be useful eventually. Mother of... I'm gonna... Fucking... Boom! Apparently, I can take them down in melee. Wild. Okay, yeah, I was here. I do vaguely recall being here now. Although, I missed a remote bomb. Yeah, I do remember being... around here, if not here, here. Yeah, 16 years since the Nightmare of Raccoon City, the survivors are still suffering. So, this is in... The same continuity, I think, maybe, of the other Resident Evil games. Or it's like a soft reboot that only is rebooting from Resi 1. Number 2 engine room is the way the cable is. I had gotten the cable from the third floor sick bay. Boop. So that's the two cables. Now I need to get a fuse. Which I believe there was a general purpose fuse on this floor. Okay, nice and easy. Let's open this. There's the handgun. That's something. Let's save the game. Um, <laughs> I know, we're starting out strong, aren't we? Four minutes in and I'm already saving the game. But who cares? Uh, who cares? My shoulders feel high. Better. <laughs> you know those little things that you're like, this feels off. Okay, just one hit killed me, I guess. Good thing I saved. Fucking hell. Unless something also came for me from the left. Hey, dude. I do now! Maybe I should have used one of my strong camp fluids on it. Oh well. You 
cow keeps spawning endless little dudes at me. It's not kosher. Yeah, I can't climb up from there. Psycho stems. It's too late for us, but at least I can let them know, well know what happened here. I was on night shift yesterday, so I was taking a nap in the bunk room around noon. It's half asleep and I had a kid, a little girl laughing. Was that all in my head? Woke up at 1930. There was some sort of ruckus in the passage passageway. The passageway. Drew, one of the engineers, came in and said there was something going on down below. Maybe a riot. He looked pale in the face. He told me to go down and check it out, but never came back. It must have been 1950 when I heard the scream. I went to the laundry room to check and saw Clark being eaten by some sort of blackish monster. The monster turned and decided to come towards me, huge shark like teeth snapping at his jaw. I just screamed like a little girl and ran. Now I'm huddled up in the bunk room, shaking as I write this. There's a whole host of these creatures lurking in the passageway now. I can still hear the screams now and then, but there's no way I'm going back out there now. That's it, I've written everything in the Giovanni Finetti. Nice! More first aid meds. More first aid meds. I will li always love those now. I was on River Cruise Guide. Beauty in the Black Lagoon. Come now and see the beauty in the Black Lagoon. Dear Janet. Hey, how's it going? I guess half a year or so will pass by the time you get this letter. Life is so boring here. Day after day, just the same old scene. But there's one thing that's different. This time we have passengers sailing with us, which hardly ever happens. It's a couple with a little girl. And their distant relatives, the ta captain. Imagine traveling on a tanker instead of a passenger ship. They must be hard up. I tried talking to the little girl earlier, and her dad shot me this nasty look. What's he so worried about? Now I think about it, the captain didn't said he didn't even have any relatives. Maybe I'm overthinking this. I miss you. Love, Jim. Good old Jim. Let's use some corrosive here. Backpack! Another corrosive! This has been a net win. Machine gun ammo! Machine gun ammo! Love that. A hub. Remote bombs. Oh! I hit bank! This room absolutely hit bank! We also make it strong. Just in case anything gets the wrong idea and comes after me. Gunpowder. Always nice. Another herb. Always good. I'm always uncertain as to whether it should be herb or herb, you know? I guess one of those little things that's, like, small, right? But it is something that kind of... Is a gripe with some people, I think. And like, I don't see anything particularly wrong with it myself. Why did you do the fucking horror movie sting? Why did you do the horror movie sting? I don't appreciate that. General purpose fuse. And now the elevator works again. Let's head to the third floor and save. That was a bad noise, good sir. Just you. Making some funny noises. Okay, well, I'm gonna save the game. I'm surprised this has lasted so long, actually. Like, this is a hefty game, at least considered. What, six hours and a half? So, considering what I've replayed, it's about... I've played about seven? Maybe eight? Yeah, no. Nah. Don't trust that for a second. He's waiting. Who is... Is it Ethan? Ethan's down here, I'm happy. Dramatic music. Some more strong chem fluid. Oh. 
Simpleton. Do not underestimate a woman with a remote bomb. I think she's just not underestimated in general, but you know. That may just be a personal paranoid philosophy of mine. You silly bitch! You jumped into the path of the explosive. Didn't even need to do anything. Oh look, even more remote bombs. My beloved. More MG ammo. Oh, I'm gonna have so much machine gun ammo by the time I get to the end of this uh, area. Cause I'll just like, open my path with bombs. Yeah. Come on. Come try it. You're a big arm lad too. Big arm does not save you from having your legs blown off. Okay. This one, however, is more of a pain. Uh, let me drink. Introduce my line of heaven food and then shoot the Christ out of it. Ah, oh, I forgot about that part. It's okay. Everything is cool. MG ammo. And guy ammo. Okay, I'm gonna use psychic stimulants as well. Just in case. Okay, so it gives me a little indicator. And that... A coin? I would have thought I'd run out of uses for the coin. Wait. Ein moment, please! I have the solvent for this. Remote bombs. Oh, there's an item I missed all the way back there. Okay, never mind. Let's go. What do I gotta do, Evie? Ethan. That was a different voice. Ethan? Jack? Hey, shh, shh, shh. I know, I know, I know. I'm not gonna hurt you. Ooh, what's going on? Hell, I never would have if I could have helped you. What do you mean? I'm no killer, son. Neither is Marguerite, nor my boy Lucas. Ooh. Or even Zoe here. That girl, Evelyn. She did this. Ah. Uh -huh. she? Now, what did she do to you? She infected us with her gift. That's what she calls it. Okay. We found her near a busted out tank in the bayou. Everything changed after that. Sure. She infects you and then she takes control? No. Not exactly, son. She just... She forces her way into your mind. Soul, you can't fight back. Shut up, shut up, shut up. <laughs> you are connected to her, and you can't resist the urge to, to take care of her. Oh, you're a, you're a different person after that, just like Leah. So, Mia sent me that message because of Evelyn. Listen, the, the girl just wants a family on her own. She's the key. All right? You find her. You stop her. All right, Jack. Ethan. Free my family. Please. Okay, Jack. 
I'll see what I can do. Who am I now? I read it again. Why? He doesn't love you. I can make him love you. Don't, don't hurt him. Silly, I told you I'm not gonna hurt him. Don't you dare. So what? <laughs> You're not my mommy. Remember? There it is. Yeah, so it wasn't a great idea to say that. Mia! Hello! Mia, Mia, how? There's no time. You have to get out of here and find her. She's behind you. Take this. What? Wait, wait, what are you doing? What are you doing? Saving your life. What? You need to go. I won't be able to resist for much longer. Are you fucking kidding me? Now go kill that little bitch. No. Mia! No! Dramatic no. Ding! <laughs> oh. Probably nobody remembers. Well, no. Everybody remembers. Seriously. What fuck? Whoa! Ethan! Ethan! Like, I get it. She's a strange virus that ruined everybody's lives. It's all your fault. I'll trust that that says that. I got an achievement, apparently. Okay, we dropped in. The audio is a little funky. It has been for a while now, actually. Maybe that's because I had to, like, lower the quality of things, like... Oh, a helicopter. Like, I wouldn't be surprised that it's, like, because I had to lower the quality of the video or something like that, or, like, the game runs a little funny. Because, you know, my computer is good, but not that good, apparently. Maybe there's something else I, uh, maybe that's causing an issue with the audio too. I'm not sure if they're, like, tied to each other or something. Let's get out of here. Oh, we're back in the Baker house, it looks like. Now it's time to go that way. February 18th, 1892. It's a collapse of the Patterson Mine. Tuan and Beckford are dead, and Huxley will never be able to walk on his own again. Old man Stan was right, the Grand Lair is too unstable. The company's not going to send us any replacement, they want us to work double shifts. Can't wait to get back to the old country. Abercrombie Salt Mine. That's completely new. Are they watching us from that helicopter? What's this? Alpha One, this is Bravo One. Ooh. This is Alpha One. Anything. A thorough search of the Baker property revealed zero survivors. Repeat, zero survivors. We did find evidence of a skirmish. Evelyn? Negative. However, we did find several encrypted messages from the Baker's son, Lucas, to an unknown third party. You can probably guess who that was. That's just great. We've had reports using the abandoned mine south of the property. I'm gonna go out and look. Ooh, Roger Lucas that. is the mine, we'll huh? Those coordinates. If you encounter Evelyn, orders are shoot to kill. Repeat, shoot to kill. Okay. Let's pick up some guns. Some shotgun shells. A heaping helping of handgun ammo. Some meds. My coins. Lockpicks. But now I'll leave it at that. 
let's coin up this one here. So we only have four at the moment, sadly. 120 rounds of machine gun ammo. I, I don't like the machine gun. I like my boomstick. Let's get the neuro rounds in there. Get a strong chemic, chem fluid, and some burner. Uh, some solid fuel so I can make some flame rounds as well. Let's do this. My dearly beloved. We're back, baby. We're back. <laughs> I have my shotgun again. Not much can stop me now that I have shoddy back. Sup, fuckers? Who's first? Step right up, step right up. Step right up, good sir. I'll blow your fucking brains out. Though I don't doubt you have any of those left. That's the thing, you always need to be careful with your aim, otherwise you'll just throw things out of there. I didn't know I still had enhanced ammo. Do I have enhanced? Yeah, I have enhanced in my inventory. Good time to use it, I guess. Monsieur? Bonjour, monsieur. How is your family? too well when Lucas made the ones that popped. I was like, no way to recognize them, basically. Yeah, let's go in here, I guess. Apparently, we have to go down into the mines. And they call it a mine. A mine! Those are awful noises. But, one, Lucas has it fucking coming. Two, I'm getting to the end of this. You know, if I had a nickel for every time that I ended up at the end of a horror game in a white tunnel underneath, underground, I would have two nickels. Which admittedly is not a lot. But it's a little weird that it's happened twice now. Oh, damn it, Lucas. Fine. We can have the trip wires and everything. Vain hope. Vain, vain, vain hope. What the fuck? I'll pop both your fucking faces. <sighs> Shotgun I was running a little bow bow. Best be careful. Pop that one open. Get a nub. Ooh. May as well. Use the regular first aid, so I still have the strong ones left. Okay, I'll use enhanced for a second. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, no, it's you'll be wasteful. I'm at the end of the game. <sighs> I will never say no to more remote bombs, so.
And last time it does some fucking work. Even on this, like... Sure, this is the upgraded handgun, technically, but, like... It is still just the handgun. Okay, let's use a strong now. Switch over to regular ammunition. Oh, okay, so I push this and it breaks that down there. Come on. I know you're out there somewhere. I know you're up. No, never mind. Okay. Nice and easy. Lights off. It's pretty well illuminated. Good box over there. Hopefully there's something useful in here. More MG ammo. I should have brought the MG. And I kind of regret it. But also, I don't like the MG. I feel like it's a little bit of a... Pea shooter. I'm sorry, MG. I didn't know you were actively stalking me. You motherfucker. You motherfucker. How the fuck dare. Sent Friday 16th, January 16th. Thanks to you guys, it's been about a week since my health has been clear and back to normal and she still thinks she's got me. You guys really need to work on fixing that. No, she doesn't look like a little kid. She has the stupidest one too. Mom and dad totally, still totally under though. I'm wondering, is the whole family obsession something you guys programmed into her? It's fucked up. 4th of November. That bitch Mia is still somewhere in, Evie, in between Evie La La Land and reality. She gets pretty violent so I locked her up in a cell. I thought maybe Evelyn wouldn't get mad and see it Mia's her favourite and all. But she doesn't seem to care. She actually goes and visits her sometimes. She thinks her, Mia's her mommy. Like I said, your bioweapon is fucked up. September 1st. Evelyn's family obsession is getting out of hand. She's making everyone kidnap more and more assholes off the street to add to her freak show of her family. Maybe she's getting tired of Mia not coming around, but it's a pain in the ass for me because I've got to clean up the mess whenever someone new comes along. By the way, Evie's looking sick or something. Her skin's getting all wrinkly and she's getting grey hairs. That's supposed to happen. She's like, she's getting old all of a sudden. Evie was the fucking lady in the wheelchair! Oh! She was Granny! She was there the whole time! She was Sam Reich! <laughs> Infection report. Report. Details. The symptoms that appear when the bacterium that grows inside of the E-series infects a human. Here, here to, for, are hereafter referred to as mold. Be sure to read this document before dealing with E-series weaponized assets. Mold ingests nutrients from the subject's body to propagate itself and slowly takes over the cells within the body. As a side effect of this, the infected subject gains remarkable regenerative abilities. Almost like a regenerator. During experiments, we removed arms and legs from test subjects and found they were able to co-opt the uh, amputated limbs in a matter of minutes. Once the mold reaches the brain, the subject's thoughts become in tune with those of the E-series asset. The subject starts hearing things and experiences hallucinations, and soon becomes co under complete control of the E-series asset. If this state continues, they will lose all ego. After every cell in the body has been taken over by the mold, the subject begins to lose their human form. Physical mutations differ from case to case, but will result in them in acquiring incredible physical strength. Containing a subject this stage would be extremely difficult. I mean, I've just been shooting them all in the face, I'll be honest. E series, necrotoxin, E series dosage test. 10 minutes after dose vomiting, 12 minutes cell calcification, 10 minutes death. Target acquired. This is the E series necrotoxin. 
tissue samples. That's very weird. E necrotoxin. Research. Seven pages. Okay. This project was instigated in 2000 as one of the several conflicts for the company's next bass initiative. Next ge generation experimental battle superiority. Working with technical assistance from HCF to develop a bioweapon for neutralizing combatants on mass for mineral direct contact. Next bass was later folded and all its assets converted into this project. What makes this project remarkably different from conventional weapons is the ability to turn enemy combatants into allies, hostile elements into winning servants. Since this effectively eliminates the cost of not only POW handling, but also combat itself, it's no wonder we had the blank and even blanks organization at the bit to get on board. Uh, the project would never have discussed, discussed, uh, existed were it not for the discovery in blank of blank. The remarkably progressed vicariate evolution of the fungus we commonly term the mutamycete. The fabrication method of each bioweapon was to introduce the mutamycete genome to a pre-stage 4 human embryo and perform a cultivation period uh, cultivation in a controlled environment over a period of 38 to 40 weeks. Result organisms were referred to as candidate specimens and graded based on usability from the impractical to the faulty. Series A through D to the perfected E series. A common appearance was selected for the bioweapons that of a roughly 10 year old girl to ensure ease of blending in with urban refugee populations. So EV is a bioweapon. First one named Evelyn has proved capable of secreting the mutamycete from her tissue at will. It's also note that Evelyn's mutamycete imposes a profound control over body and mind when introduced to a host organism. We still have a lot to learn about the mechanism by which Evelyn achieves and maintains the control, but the working theory is the factor is similar to the auto-inducer pheromones used for quorum sensing in Pseudomonas bacteria. So much saliva. Evelyn's control is exerted in a series of discrete stages, the first of which is hallucination. Almost immediately after infection, the subject begins to see images of Evelyn, though she's not in fact there, and even hear her voice, which is inaudible to everyone else. Auditions with infected subjects throughout the stages of infection reveal that at first, the phantom Evelyn appears to be a normal young girl, sometimes desiring companionship or assistance. As time progresses, she begins to make more and more extreme demands, including self-mutilation and attacking others. The psychological shock this induces helps to break down the mind's natural barriers to Evelyn's brainwashing effect. And by the time the mental control is achieved, the mutamycete infection is progressed throughout the bodily cells, so the body turns into one of the mold monsters. Roughly speaking, it's just she they turn into mold monsters. Oh, more research reports! Let's go. Four pages, that's okay. Evelyn's function also includes the ability to form organism from mycelia, the fungal filaments. The term organism is used loosely here. Strictly speaking, there are superorganisms formed of countless mycelia. What's important, though, is that they exhibit a strong survival instinct and will defend themselves ferociously with the slightest provocation. Their fungal toughness and remarkable strength give them significant battlefield potential. Researchers have been calling these superorganisms the molded. Made of mold and also molded, as in shapes. It has a certain elegance to it. I have was not done. For the treatment of accidental infections, performing blank on samples of Evelyn's body tissue produces a unique fungicidal serum. Administering the serum to an infected subject will cause the mycelia to calcify, but if this subject's cells are already largely invaded, the serum will be fatal. Since the treatment's window is so small, the serum's primary use is therefore a disposal of infected subjects rather than cure. Uh, in exploring the serum's potential, we have found the subject to get to blank. Uh, would enhance its effects to extreme potency, perhaps becoming what a compound we now call e-necrotoxin, which will kill whatever it is in even tiny amounts. What's been interesting to observe in Evelyn's behavior is the obsession with the concept of family. In experiments, we found on multiple occasions that infected subjects were compelled to act as her mother or father, treating her as if she were really their daughter. Why did she settle upon family as the theme for her mental control? This is just speculation, but it could be that she instinctively understands that family unit is better suited to blending into social groups than a lone girl. On the other hand, well, a sentimental sort might suggest that she's making up for a perceived lack of love in her parent quarantined upbringing. A parent's love. Thank you for the exposition. More flame rounds. I don't like the sound of that. Look, I'll be honest, this feels like endgame shit. I will 
switch out my beloved double barrel for the P-19 submachine gun at this point. It is just... I have 400 rounds for it. I... I... If I don't, I'm being silly. Let's roll. I do kind of regret not finding... No, regret is a strong word. It does suck that I didn't find all of the... Um, it does suck that I didn't find every antique coin and didn't get the 44 mag. That would have been so cool to have. There's the song. I take it back. Give back the grenade launcher. No thank you! No thank you! No thank you! Running. Running, running, running. I am running away. I should not be running. I should be shooting things. Good cover. <laughs> Shit. Fuck it. Out of the way. Reload. Oh, no, 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 no! Uh, how am I doing for gear? Good. Good, good, good. Look, if I had the time to set remote explosives, I would have by now. Shit. I should have naded him. Sometimes you just need to nade things. You can attach remote bombs to enemies while grappling them. Okay. So, clearly... Ah, oh, neurorounds do stun things, don't they? Yeah. Fuck. Those two are going to come after me. I'm going to pop them. Health drink. Oh, come on. Now you're just taunting me. Okay, set that. Blam. And pass.
I missed my shotgun. I really missed my shotgun. <laughs> However, I cannot argue with the results that that gives, especially against those fuckers. Against the beast forms, I cannot argue with results. SMG is definitely more useful in that situation. I just have so much more ammo. It makes life easier. Keep going. Keep on rolling. Thankfully, I have enough grenades to clear a bunch of this out. Okay. What the fuck was that noise? What? You're around him. Big one set him on fire again. This is why we save grenades. This is why we save our grenades. Okay, let's go. All right, ladder. Duh. I am silly. And I'm also out of water. Okay, making it up. There we go. What the? Oh, hard hats. I was thinking, like, what? What is this? What are they doing? Fair enough. Odd assumption to make, I know, but uh, unless I'm supposed to climb, I don't think I can climb that. Uh, no, there's a passageway here which I didn't see. Makes more sense, admittedly. I am blind. Mind map. Kill Evelyn with the e-necrotoxin. I'm glad we're being honest. Our stated goals and objectives. Yep. There it is. Dude. I'm sure of it. Okay. It's not here. It's gone. It's gone. Curious. E zero zero one. Yeah, I figured that one out on my own, but thank you for the uh, thank you for making sure. Okay, we're back in the main household, actually. Oh, this is where we got into the fights with the star. This is your fault. 
Probably. Why am I seeing this? I'm infected. That's what it would be. Okay. Ethan, it's okay. No. It's okay, it's me. I know you did. I'm very infected. Kill him, mommy. But you shouldn't have done that. Yeah, I remember this. It fucking hurts! He doesn't want to be my daddy? Then he can die. Then just... Now it's mommy's turn to kill you. Great. I remember how this went. Involved a chainsaw. I'm still kind of pissed that I didn't manage to keep for long. Ethan, help me. I don't think I can. But, uh... I forget when you stop shoot fucking murdering me with a chainsaw. <sighs> okay. Where the fuck are you? Got no camp fluid, so nothing really workable there. Where are you, Evelyn? <laughs> that was very close to my ear. One of us. And then maybe you'll play nice. It moves. I'm not playing. No! Get that away from me! I don't need your pity. You were always watching me. Because I care about you? Because I love you? You know? As one tends to do in this sort of situation? <sighs> what would they understand? No. No. What do I understand, really? I don't want to hurt you. I know. But this is where we are. Want your help. I don't even know if this Go is doing anything. Like realistically, I could be just shooting at thin air. Probably I'm just shooting at thin air. That tells me I'm probably going in the right direction. Get away. I felt that one. Okay, so I've got a guard and then go in. Um, yes, do. Nah. Thank you, Ethan. Let's go.
Yes! We've been over this multiple times. Oh, yes, it's her. Yeah. Oh, dear. That sounded like... This looks awful. What the fuck? Shit! Stop shooting! Shoot until it dies! Shoot it! Shoot it! And I got swallowed. Um... No escaping her, just keep attacking and stay out of her way. Cool. Okay. In that case, let's remove the knife, maybe? Remove the herb. Sort. Give back my shotgun, please. Um. Shotgun shells. Handgun ammo. Enhanced handgun ammo. Uh, what else? Can I feasibly use here? Pretty much not much else. Shan't lie. Could use all the burner stuff I got. Well, if I include the burner at least, I won't be too sorry. Let's try again. Okay. Uh, cause you kind of kill everybody you come into contact with and or turn them into zombie monsters. So important thing to remember is that I gotta run. That's now covered up. Actually. I wonder if this works. What other? No. Doesn't seem to be. Uh, where the hell am I meant to go exactly? What am I supposed to do? Am I just supposed to dodge? Am I just supposed to dodge? I'm not sure though. Because, like, clearly it's just supposed to be. An extremely strong boss that you need to, like, avoid the attacks of. But, like, I thought you'd have to, like, run into the house. I guess my logic was wrong. That happens sometimes, you know, I'm not fussed. But it sucks. You know, it also sucks the fact I don't have the Mag 44. That'd be cool. Okay.
Oh shit! Oh shit! Okay. That was much faster than I expected. Helicopters overhead. Oh dear. Oh dear! That's reload. Stop going. Oh dear. This is bad. I'll take it. Accidental win. Whoa, 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 whoa. Use it. Okay. Albert zero. Albert? That's an important name, you know? Okay. Nice. Oh. Shee. Calcified. Turn to stone. On top of me. Got another achievement, I don't know what for. Helicopter ropes. I'm not in game either, this is a cutscene. Let's give it a second. Last guy comes down. Hello sir, who are you? You gonna kill me? Mike. Hello. I'm Redfield. No. Glad we found you. Chris. Uh, the fuck took you guys so long. <laughs> Chris Redfield. The fuck took you all so long. The BSAA, baby. Oh, you're still alive. There you go. You made it. I'm glad. Did I? I suppose we did, Mia. But Mazoe fucking didn't, though. Or rather, she did. And I'm going back. Later. Eventually. One door closes. Another opens. Oh, this is hopeful. A door closed tonight. Nice. And what a long night it was. Yep, <laughs> fucking no kidding. That was eight hours. Me and I weren't the only victims here. Of course. So were the bakers. Yeah. It was that thing, Evelyn, who made them that way. Yeah. But now I've motherfuckers! Motherfuckers! And these guys are here to clean up the mess. Oh, it's Umbrella. They never clean up and shit. Terms with losing me. Oh, I'm mad. And now she's back. And fucking... Oh, it's Umbrella Corp. Not happy. Not happy. I knew they were behind this somehow. This is where the next door opens. I knew Umbrella had to be behind this somehow. Oh, motherfuckers. Motherfuckers. Woo! We did it! That's Resident Evil 7. We made it through. Holy shit. That was... A lot. Okay. Go till 
as a song. This game had so much going for it. This was great. Uh, I'll let the credits roll, but like, this is fantastic. Um. Fuck, how do I. How am I gonna say it? But this is just. So much of this was so well stylized and so well planned. Um. Especially with how different this is to, like, classic Resi 7. Yeah, the audio's being weird. I'm so sorry that I came up with the audio director and lead composer. That's. <laughs> It's so fucking stupid. Um, but, nah. This is fantastic. Not much to really say. This is great. Honestly, a wonderful game. I had a great time almost all the way through. The ship is probably the only part that I didn't like. Like, that's the only part I kind of chafed against, but it was only for a little while. It served to break up things a bit. I get that. Totally understandable. Ugh, uh, uh, dolls. Dolls bad. Dolls bad. Ugh. Anyway. I think this is like the voice cast for the Japanese version going past now. I'm not sure. Oh, it's animated still. But yeah, no. This is fantastic. Absolutely fucking brilliant. Loved it. This is great. Had a good mix, you know? This is a good cover. This is a good arrangement. It's awesome. So, this is the end of Resident Evil 7, its main campaign, but it's not the end of my story with Resident Evil 7. I'm going to play something else for a bit, have a bit of time to like decompress, de-stress, then come back to this later. Because Zoe is still there. Zoe is still there and that's my fault. I tried to save her. She died when I did. I don't save her. She's stuck there. Maybe she's dead already. I don't know. But I hope not. Um. But, like I said, I've heard that there is a DLC called The End of Zoe, which I have, which lets you save her. It's like a whole extra little campaign thing. But you go back and you go and save her. And I was going to go on to do Resident Evil 8 after this. I have Village. I was going to go ahead and do that immediately after. No. No. I'm going back. And I'm saving Zoe. I don't care. I'm going to, like I said, take a break. Take a break play something else for a bit, so, you know, I have a bit of, uh, time to, you know, play something different. This is all the voice cast, actually, but congrats to all of you. Thanks to everyone who built, made this game. That was fantastic. But, yeah, and yes, it is Chris Redfield. But, again, I'm coming back for this one. So, thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell. Uh, share the video with your friends, everything else. Follow me on Twitter, because I post all my stuff there as well, whenever I make videos. I know it's been a little bit of a drought recently, uh, but, like I said, I was sick last week. Quite badly sick, I had bronchitis. But I'm back now. Back to regular. One day a week. Every week. So thank you all for coming with me on this journey, and coming with me on the next journeys. That we'll be undertaking. I'll see all of you in the next game.
goodbye.